Neil, a, a remarkable evening. Just try and put that into words for me. Um, obviously, the stuff that goes on that's in the game that was out of my control, obviously the sending off, etc., etc. But I thought we started the game brilliantly. I thought we we could have been two up before they even you know got the penalty and the, and the sort of game changing moment. Um, the boys were really at it, and then they just carried it on, even with ten men. You know, I've got a way of uh, that we work. When we go down to 10 men, sometimes it will work, sometimes it doesn't, but today they executed it brilliantly. You must be incredibly proud of them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to a man, I mean, I'm just gutted from that they conceded a goal because they didn't deserve to. Um, and, I mean, we could have had probably three or four in the second half as well. So um, I can't really speak highly enough of them. They're, they're in a great place. The fitness levels are great. Um, they're, they're buzzing, the boys. Um, they're desperate to play games, all of them. And um, long may it continue. Let's talk about the incident of, of the sending off. Did you think it was a sending off to begin with? Uh, initially, not at all. Um, I was absolutely disgusted with it. I've looked at it back. I still think it's dubious. It's the, the only thing that goes against Sam is both his feet leave the ground. But there's no force in there. It's, it's, it's a trying to reach for the ball. He doesn't catch him. I spoke to Sam. He said, honestly, he said his leg just grazed the top of my foot. It's a really difficult one and I think it's an incredibly brave decision by the referee to do something like that in 16 minutes into a game. Now, obviously you don't carry a, a goalkeeper on the bench because <coughs> you're only allowed five subs in the National League. And I, If I remember rightly, you said to me last year that statistically it works out more often than not that if you do lose your goalkeeper that you're going to lose the game anyway or at least you're not <coughs> going to win it. So you feel like you get more out of having... Uh, an, an, an additional outfield player on, on the pitch. Is, is that the case? Is that right? Listen, I argued the case at the start of the season. Five subs isn't enough, right? You look at the Premier League, you look at all these other leagues, they've got however many subs, they're allowed to bring four or whatever they're allowed to bring on. It's ridiculous. Five subs isn't enough. You know, I need to cover a centre-half going down. I need to cover a full-back going down. I need to cover midfield. And then I need to have a winger or a centre-forward to change a game. That's it. You're done. Where's the space? You've got no space. I just can't cover the positions I want to cover and have a goalkeeper on the bench and I'll do it again next week and I'll do it again a week after and you know today I'm sure the knives were out when Sam Slocum um, you know went off and I'm sure people were criticising me but that's the way it is I've I've batted for, for more than five subs the league I mean now we're Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday even more so for the welfare of the players but what can I do? Yeah, what with concussion protocols as, as, as and everything else as well. But it meant that the, the legend of Schmeichel Doyle could, could be born. Um, how did the decision come that he's the man to go in there? Well, I'd already had a chat with the boys and I think, um, you know, Doyle, I think he'd played Gaelic football and gone in goal. <laughs> saying Doyle was up for it. Ben Turner was up for it. A few boys were up for it. You know, when we talked about it last season, um, I think Ruben wanted to go in goal just because he likes to play around. He's, you know, when we finish <laughs> training, he's always messing around in goal and being silly. So he wanted to go in goal. But I felt, I felt like the calmness I needed would come from the captain, um, his ability to play from the back when need, need be. Um, I didn't realise he'd be as good as he was. <laughs> he was excellent. But the, the 10 in front of him or the nine in front of him, should I say, um, I mean, they, they stopped everything at source and we tweaked something at half time just to make sure, you know, if I'm the opposition, I say shoot on sight. And um, we, we tweaked something to make sure they never got any positions to shoot and there was always bodies in the way and the boys executed it brilliantly. Is Doyle mad that he didn't get a clean sheet? I think they all are. Mm. That, they're, they're, they're really angry in there about it and I feel for them because it was, you know, it was sort of goal out of nothing, shot through three or four legs. It wasn't like we, we got loads wrong. Um, but uh, he has said to me, Doyle, he's not going to have a go at the goalies for goal kicks anymore because <laughs> if there's something he needs to work on, it's, it was his goal kicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. And it, the one thing you didn't think would let him down was his touch at one point when Alex Lacey nodded the ball back yeah. to him. He thought, oh, oh, there's a nervy moment. But it was a good job that Ruben Rodriguez didn't go in goal because if he had, we wouldn't have got the chance to see him go all Cristiano Ronaldo on us and thunder one home. Yeah, and to be fair, you know, Ruben's this... You know, I worked hard in the summer to bring Ruben in and you need to give people time, but that's as complete a performance as he's given my team. Um, when he's like that, I think he can be anything he wants to. I thought him and Enzio, either side of, of Jake Reeves, were were incredible. And like I say, we could have had so many goals today. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of them today. Is it the sort of performance that you kind of look at and go, crikey, if you can do that, you can do anything in this league. If you, if you needed... <coughs> your players any confidence then they you can you can just show them that DVD yeah they, we're in a good place um, you know I've 
I look at the group. I looked at it last season when we first went into lockdown, and we was we was in a really good place as a group, and it feels that way again. And um, you know, I see it every day. It's a manager's job to feel when things are good, when they're not. And we've had times this season where you know it's been a bit bitty, and I wasn't sure in training that we were quite where we needed to be. You know, as far as the mentality, of the group, and the cohesiveness. But it feels like it's in a really good place now and everybody is desperate to be on that pitch and everybody knows what they've got to do if they get on that pitch. Will you appeal against the Sam Slocum? I'd have to have a look at it again. I've looked at it in slow motion. It's it's a really difficult one. Are they going to likely to be turning it over? I don't know. It's, it's um, you know, it, both feet have left the ground and, and that's a sign that you might say he's out of control and it's reckless, but... There's no force in it whatsoever. It's a, it's a lunge, and he doesn't really catch the guy. So it's a difficult one. I'll have to have a look at it. Uh, are you confident that if he's missing for I don't know maybe three games, that that Luke Pilling's the man to step into his shoes, or would you be interested to go into the market? Not at all. Not at all. Luke will come come in. You know, this is what Luke trains for. Um, he was excellent on um, on Saturday, and that's why we're trying to keep his game time up. And uh, you know, if if anything happened to Luke, we've got Tiernan Brooks behind it. So. Um, we'll, you know, we'll go with it. Everybody's part of the squad, and they're all vital. And Luke's turn to step up and give us what we need. Fans would have loved that tonight if they were here, wouldn't they? It was one of those nights. I hope so. <laughs> I hope they loved it on the on the stream as well, because I thought it was as a, virtually bar their goal at the end. It was as complete a performance as as you're likely to see from a from a group of lads, and I hope that they're they're proud of them.